Hello, welcome. I'm going to play a couple of hands of bridge online and comment about what I'm doing at the fundamental level. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you. If you're at that level, fundamental level, this book could be helpful. Really just goes into basic bridge, but even though you may be playing some bridge, you should probably read it if, if you're really fundamental and it'll put fill in a lot of gaps for you. And clearly if you're new to the game, definitely read the book. I'm using the standard American yellow card bidding convention, spinning system. Um, get this on the ACBL, web, ACBL website, have a look. Uh, points ranges, so at the fundamental level, <clears throat> we're talking about points ranges. Our bidding is communicating how many points we have. Our partner is communicating with their bidding. The more we bid, the more we narrow down this range and then we can make better decisions about whether or not to go to game. And let's get in there and um, don't know. Um, Great Britain doesn't always play Sacy, but we'll hang out a little bit and see. 13 high card points and clubs and hearts-ish. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see what happens. So one club open. One heart overcall in the east, a pass in the south. And we are at a brand new table here. So there are no results yet. And to no trump. So that is a jump. Uh, Jacoby, I guess. We'll see if Danny wants to fess up to what that is. Presumably a Jacoby 2 no trump. So out here in BBO, you can click on the bid. Partner should respond and tell you what that is. Hmm. Seems like a lot of points. Almost opening and even evenly distributed. So he's showing he's saying eleven to twelve in a balanced hand. All right. Um, uh, I don't like we don't want to lead away from an ace. So let's lead a heart, which turns out to be a looks like a pretty bad idea. Looks like that just um, hmm. So Danny has uh, Danny has correctly guessed I'm leading away from a queen. So that's a good little trick there. Sometimes if you can if you can look at the opening lead and say, yep, fourth from their longest strongest, uh, longest strongest, uh, meaning I probably got something at the top of that heart suit. So Danny plays the 10, finessing my queen. Well done. And we have ourselves a three no trump. Now we're going to play the ace. And we want to play these clubs. I have five of them. So what can we do? Let's see if we can win enough tricks to one run these clubs out. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... Three more clubs out there, and having correctly guessed my queen. Now, you might say it's terrible to lead away from the queen, but that's what you do. It doesn't always turn out this bad, but sometimes it does. Uh, let's watch the other suits. Now, that was a spade. Uh, I think that was just a spade thrown away, not necessarily a signal. Yeah, just throwing away spades, not signaling. Um, kind of bad thing to do. So discards, well, I might have missed a signal too, talking in here, so we'll see. And yeah, maybe partner right now really doesn't care about discards. 
I'm not having much of anything. Nine, there's the club, there's another club, the ten, the jack, hey, all right, we want it. So three hearts, bid and made, and they should have made plus one in a perfect world, but uh, we managed to keep them down to even. So I thought that worked out pretty well. What do we have here? 11 high card points. And a balanced hand. Hmm. Three heart. Preemptive three heart bid. Well, so preemptive should be in east, should be showing six to ten. Uh, high card points should be up towards the seven hearts. Now, partner has overcalled with three spades. You would not go overcall with three spades without um, at least five of them. And I've got, like I said, 11. So if partner's got 14, we have enough for game. So this is kind of a flip the coin kind of a call. Now we are vulnerable, but no pain, no glory, right? So this is nice. Queen, king of hearts, ace, right? Sets up the jack. Problem is, West probably has no more hearts. I mean, because East was showing about seven of them. So that's, that's, uh, Danny's got to go to dinner. Thanks, Danny. And here comes a trump. Yes, the nine is still good, though. All right. And we lose a club trick and a spade trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not much we can do about that. It was so I'm thinking we're going down to here. It looks like vulnerable. Yep. Unfortunate, I think. Uh, lesson here. When I could have probably, let's see, let's leave it at three spades. Uh, because we don't have good hearts. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, see, now our poor partner has trouble with hearts here, up and down and left and right. Um, but South should take this with the 10, yes. Uh -huh. And that's because there's nothing higher than the 10. And then we will be able to take all the rest of the tricks. Yep. So there you go. So we'll draw enough Trump or strong enough. See, well, yeah, and you have enough of them to draw two. Uh, there was, in fact, seven hearts. Look at my last hand. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got, see, I've got three hearts. And the king is on this side of the three heart bid. So it's really a bad four spade raise since. I, I really need a void or something in hearts. I like the points, but not having that void in hearts, uh, I think that hurt us a bit. Well, I mean, that it did hurt us a bit, and I think we'll see. So we're down two on that vulnerable 200 points. That's not a good result. Not a good result at all. Uh, if they'd made three hearts, they would have got would have gotten... Um, what is that, um, 90 and 50, 140, substantially less than 200. So they're much better off just to let them take their three hearts. Or our partners bid three spades, we just go down one, it's only 100. Uh, one, eight high card points. And passed out. So that's, uh, I think, I think um, East definitely had a biddable hand there. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, maybe not. One of those hands it happens sometimes. Three, four, five high card points. Alrighty, one spade, two spades, three hearts. So this is some cue bidding here. So definitely telling partner, okay, I've got, I've got five spades, maybe four hearts, but strong hearts, and. And partner goes back. Partner does not bid any other suit. Straight in, straight back into spades. So partner's not interested in discussing slams. Well, this, this kind of cue bidding, uh, if partner has a lot of points uh, and, and some good stoppers somewhere else, then they could talk about it. Uh, what do I want to bid here? I'll lean away from these diamonds. Diamonds are strong. It's not the ace. So there's the queen comes. Oh, not even the ace. Okay. So does that mean South has the ace or West just didn't play it? Don't know. South is looking to set up some hearts here. And that's four hearts played. Four spades played, eight spades played, nine, and we're looking, watch, let's watch for a discard signal. See if partner wants to signal here. A club signal, could be a signal. So indicating, yeah, happy to take clubs if I ever get the lead back. And here is the diamond. And let's send partner a club. See if that actually was a discard signal. So Jack, Ace. Eh. Maybe. And some more hearts. Mm, now we get to see. We have the ace over there. No, the king. Yeah, the king jack. That's what it was. King jack. Okay, so the ace of diamonds has not yet been played, right? This is a setting trick. Very nice. Oh, there's that ace of diamonds. Yeah, okay. Very nice. And you can have the rest. So we set them. Good defense. Good defense. Um, yeah, and we got a lot of M's for that. So they should have made it, but it was a, probably not an easy hand to make. We can go back over that uh, in a minute. Um, we'll play one more hand and we'll go over that. So 11 high card points, we will pass. It's not quite the 12 we need. And how would you bid this anyway? Ish, you know, a club, a spade, but even then, yeah. All right, one no trump. Well, that's interesting. Uh, me sitting on six clubs over here. And 11 points. I don't want to try to steal it, but it's some good uh, good room for defense here. These clubs pan out well. We need something high from south. There's the king, loses to the... Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a club back, partner. 
Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Don't take my entries away. Oh, partner doesn't. Oh, partner's going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Partner, you know, here's the thing. All right, are you, why are you going off on your hand when I could be setting up tricks left and right? Of course, this did kind of help, didn't it, right? So there was four clubs played. Oh, and you had the ace too, right? Oh my goodness, wow. Uh, yeah, 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 oh geez. Okay. Now just about every other suit is got a winner in it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tricks. <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah. And who knows what's going to happen with that diamond, huh? So... I guess playing spades was wiser than I realized, but also I think kind of lucky. That, that could have, I mean, this just kind of turned out lucky. It's just one of these things where you did something unusual. And man, you know, managed to get transfer control over to me in the spades with that nine of spades. Yeah, that was just something special right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, poor West won two tricks. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, that's the way the crookie crumbles sometimes, huh? Um, all right. No, let's go and look at... Um, this hand here. So this hand is makeable, huh? Let's see. Well, let's look at the bidding. One spade. So yeah, this nice hand over here in the west, isn't it? Nine and six is 15 high card points, two double tons, a five card spade suit four hearts so uh what was that 15 yeah so 15 16 17 in spades right so one spade two spades and not only that very nice spades nine right total uh, high card points 10 total points in spades okay three heart pass pass three hearts what is three hearts telling east here all right so three hearts should be saying Slam interest. Now, 10 high card points, yeah, no. Not slam interest. I can get it. So, yeah, comes back around, no. Let's, let's, let's go. If you've got good points and I've got good spades, let's just play those four spades, right? And it looks very makeable, too. And uh, I opened with a diamond didn't I, right? Fourth for my longest, strongest. So now, let's look at, this is dummy, and this is declare. Let's look and see how this works out. What do we have here? One, two diamond losers. And yeah, not much you can do about that, right? Um, all the spades, one, two, three is going to take care of the spades, yeah? And there'll be two spades over here in the east. And so you do have a bit of trouble with this heart right here, don't you? All right, because uh, that three's a loser. And so there's one, two diamond losers, one heart loser, and one club loser. And that's four losers. All right, and you can only afford three. So somewhere we've got to make this contract. Let's go ahead and play. So what are we gonna do here? We can't really do here. 
Uh, I've got to go there. All right. And I go here. Standard stuff. Whoopsie. Okay. Now what? Probably let's let's in fact let's let's do this. Let's not play it, but let's go and look and see where the mistake was made. And then it's more informative, right? So we know we have to worry about either a club or a heart. We've got to figure out how to make one of those tricks. And Right away, South. Oh, that's right. This is this is not me. Right away, South comes back with a heart, so that heart gets taken. No big deal. Now we're going to take the spades, and here now we have no way of generating that extra trick. All right, and that's a problem. I think right there the mistake is made, because. You're missing the king and the jack of clubs, and it's easy to assume, even if you finesse the king, which you do, then the jack still gets set up. And right there, that's the mistake. And let's look. So right now, GIB, this says they're going down one as long as I play one of the cards marked in red. And, uh, yeah, I played the two of clubs. And that one was marked in red. And you took the jack. And now you're going to run. And now I get the ten of diamonds on top of that. And here comes the clubs. So I'm on this side of the queen. I can see the, or he's on this side of the queen. There's the jack. So now we've got the Ace of Diamonds. Well, we've got the King of Clubs right now anyway. And we've got ourselves a heart still. All right, there's the King of Hearts. There's the King of Clubs. So there's three. And that last heart is good. And they're down one. So let's do it correctly. Right. And, um, and in fact, we'll even go. So we'll take it to here. Wins the trick. Right. Wins the trick. Now here, let's not play the last 10. Let's play the heart. Oh, trouble, oh, trouble, still trouble, right? Mm-hmm. Now, playing the heart here doesn't win, does it? All right? Because I can trumpet. So now can they still make their, can they still make, no, nope, they're down one. Well, look at there. Well, isn't that interesting? So let's rewind all this. And all right, so they're still making their contract. And next, next, next. And they're still making their contract. And and they're still making their contract as long as they don't play the ace. Hmm, right. So there you need that ace. That's the trick. Again, see, no, I'm not even that good. And there's a very big lesson right there for you. All right, for me too, right? Uh, and I can't tell you how many, just grabbing those those trump tricks, but you're missing that jack, and that 10's not good enough to make sure the heart wins. So what to play right here is to do it this way. All right. 
And let's take that. Now we throw the three. So now what am I gonna do? All right, I could do the jack, but you can do the ace. And that 10 is good, isn't it? Yeah. Takes the nine and the seven off the board, All right? We've only got one trick. Now, you can take the ace. You can take whatever you want here. All right. And there's only two losers here. See? Three spades and two diamond losers for a total of three losers. And that's it. You can claim. See, so they made three. We made three, but we did not make four. So that's that's. Ooh, that's a tricky hand, isn't it? Huh? Very tricky. So what is the lesson there? The lesson is when you have to make that extra trick, make sure you can make that extra trick. You realize you're missing the jack. So leave that ace over here. So when you have to rough. Right, you can rough with the ace if the jack comes out. That's that's very advanced. This is not fundamental, but this gives you an indication of the what makes good players good. And the rest of us wishing we knew how to do this on the table. Anyway, that's it for today. A little more than I wanted to go, but I think that last hand was very instructive. All right, take care now. Bye bye.